Bring up to welcome Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sadani on his first ever visit to Washington later today. However, the visit is overshadowed by the threat of a Gaza war spillover looming in the background. This, as Baghdad happens to be a rare ally of both Washington and Tehran. The Biden administration has been pressing Baghdad and other partners in the region to urge Iran to show restraint. This comes following the killing of seven Iranian military officers in an April 1st strike by Israel. However, Tehran responded with over 300 drones and missiles against Israel over the weekend. A potential escalation will be front of mind for Biden and al-Sadani, who are keen to prevent Israel's war from spreading into Syria and Lebanon. In the earlier months of the Gaza war, Iran-backed groups such as Khatib Hezbollah repeatedly targeted American troops in the region. These included attacks on U.S. bases in Jordan near the border of Iraq and Syria back in January. That attack killed three American soldiers and wounded more than 40 others. Under pressure from Baghdad, shortly after the attack, Khatib Hezbollah announced it was suspending all of its military operations against American troops. Suspension of hostilities from Khatib Hezbollah and other anti-U.S. groups was a condition placed by the United States for the Iraqi prime minister's visit. But what's likely to be on President Biden's agenda is yet to be seen. Well, for starters, this is what we do know. A top goal in Washington for al Sudani is progress towards an agreement on U.S. troop withdrawal from his country before a potential change in U.S. administration after the November election. There are approximately 2,500 U.S. troops still deployed in Iraq. Biden and al Sudani will also discuss, quote, ongoing Iraqi financial reforms to promote economic development and progress towards Iraq's energy independence and modernization. This is according to the White House. Not only this, al Sudani said that he aims for a new phase of strategic partnership that supports the sovereignty and independence of Iraq without forging fruitful cooperation between Baghdad and Washington. For all the latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.